Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video I'm going to show you how to add an image of your signature into a block file. The first step of adding a signature to your block file is getting a copy of your signature. I recommend signing a piece of paper a few times with a nice dark black pen and then scanning it in. If you take a picture of it you're likely to have some background color that you won't be able to easily get rid of. However, if you scan something in, you'll get a nice crisp image. If you use something like a black felt tip pen, you'll get a great signature. In this example, I'm going to use a classic. And I have a PDF that just has one great big signature on it, and this is not quite what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is cut this down to size. So I'm going to click Start and type in Snip, and I'm going to open the Snipping tool. And here I will click New and I will cut just around the part of the signature that I need. Okay, I'll right click, save as, and I'm going to save this under documents and into the Eclipse folder so it'll be easily accessible to all my Eclipse users, and I'll call it signature. So I'll save that and close out of snipping tool and out of the PDF where I got the image of my signature from, and then I'm going to open Eclipse. and I'm going to open up the block file that I'd like to attach my signature to. Every time I use this block file from this point forward, an image of my signature will automatically be included. So if I just attach it to a cert page, for instance, every time I end my file with that cert page, my signature will automatically be included. So here I have a signing line. I'll place my cursor on it and press Alt-N for print commands. I'll choose Graphic and press OK to open the, graph the Insert Graphic link box. I'm going to move that out of the way so I can see the line where I want my signature and then I'm going to click browse and since I saved it in documents and then Eclipse that's automatically where the graphic link goes to look for a file so I can look for the file called signature and double click on it and it inserts a nice clean copy of that signature and I can use the left option to move the signature left and right I can use top to move it up and down I can use size to make it smaller, and I can use stretch to make it taller or shorter to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and get it where I want it. And once I have the signature situated where I want it, I can press OK. And now this signature is in here. If I hold down Control and arrow down in this document, I get taken to the print command that has the signature command information in it and while that's visible the signature is no longer visible and that's normal. Once I arrow out of it again the signature becomes revisible. So now whenever I use this block file the signature will come up. I'll press Control Q to close out of the file and I'll just and I'll just open up one of my other files. This is a blank file and I'll press Alt R, go to blocks and click on my cert file and you'll see that the text I had inserted as well as the document, uh, the image of my signature comes into this new document perfectly just as it was in the block file. And so that's how easy it is to insert a document or an image of your signature into a document. You can also insert your signature into headers or footers or anywhere else in a document that you need to. You can also insert other images. Um, pretty much any JPG or PNG file can be imported and added as a graphic in Eclipse. So if your firm has a logo, you can always insert that into your header or footer. And tech support can help you with that. Thank you for watching this video about inserting signatures and other images into your document. As a reminder, Advantage Software does have anytime 24-7 technical support. And we can be reached at 1-800-800-1759 or 772-288-3266 for international callers if you have questions about this or any other Eclipse features. We can also always be reached at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.